Now to figure out if you're in the in the middle of the circle, which it probably isn't right now, you go to view and show rulers. Now you come up here to the ruler and you can see it turns into a double arrow. My uh, cursor is a double arrow. Drag down and put the put the uh, arrow guide, I mean the ruler guide right in the middle and you can zoom in with your middle mouse button or the zoom key to get more finite tuning. Move, move the left side over, put that right in the middle. Well, I'm gonna have to zoom out to get it right in the middle there. Okay, and I was kinda close. And then I can zoom in and move it right into the center there. Now if I go back to my my comp there, you can see, oop, I gotta click on the circle here. My anchor point is now in the center. Now if I try rotating it, it's gonna rotate right around the center. And normally you don't want your circle rotating around, but maybe I want my circle to rotate around maybe another circle. So let me uh, let's duplicate this, edit, edit, duplicate. And I have another circle here. Let's make it a little smaller. And I'll make it a different color. Let's make it pink, hot pink. There we go. So I'm going to put this circle in the middle. Let's t turn this chainsaw off real quick. Put this circle in the middle, and then we have this circle here. Now, you s now maybe I want to rotate this circle around this uh, green circle, this pink circle around the green circle, kind of like a moon around the Earth. So I would move, I would turn on my rulers. I would bring these down to match the center. I'm using the anchor point as a guide because I already know it's in the center. There we go. Oh, this one needs to move up a little. And we're good there. So let's grab the pan behind tool. Move this to the center here. And if you move the uh, anchor point, it'll go right along these guides. And it snaps right into where both of the guides are. Now let's rotate this. And you can see it rotates around. So that's a good way to make something maybe orbit or rotate around something else. So I might as well show you how you can use an anchor point for scaling. I'm going to turn off this small circle there. Let's get rid of these guides. Click on this circle. And um, say you want this circle to grow from the middle, or from the, from the corner of the composition. We can move our anchor point to the corner. Select the pan behind tool with Y. Put it down here in the corner. Let's get it right in there. Close enough. And now if I scale from that, it'll eat up from the corner. See this? It could be a way to make like a transition or something like that. I'm gonna scale it down to zero and then it goes down to the corner and it's gone. So those are the ways to use your anchor point. If you're trying to scale something and it looks weird when it's scaling or you're trying to rotate and you're trying to maybe rotate a wheel and it's wobbly, make sure you adjust the anchor point into the middle or to wherever else you need it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I still feel the effects of the Stacker 2. It's only been like, what, 15 minutes or so. And uh, looks, let's go ahead and I'll make another tutorial right after this and we'll see how long I can last. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.